Having goals is absolutely crucial if you want to set yourself up for success. Although it's the beginning of a new year, it's not absolutely imperative that you complete your goal in one year. And you have to trust me, you will reap the reward at some point. It doesn't have to be at the end goal. In fact, I like to think of goals as checkpoints. And along the way, you start to level up your skills, kind of like in a game. And look, even if you don't have any goals, at the very least, you want to get better, right? Today, I'll be listing five of my goals for this year, 2022. And to be honest with you, many of them, I don't even know where to start. And that scares me because I know how much work is gonna have to go into all of my goals. But I'm also very excited. I know that feeling of fear in my soul means I'm on a good path. Whereas most people in the exact same situation that I'm in and feeling the same way I'm feeling would fall apart at the seams, I know that the fun's about to start. See, learning new things, that's the funnest part of a journey. It's what you're gonna reflect on the most once you do reach your goal. And I know this firsthand because when I was 18 years old, I started a restaurant with my parents and we didn't know the first thing about restaurants. And for the first year, it was a disaster. We struggled tremendously, but we set our goals and we learned along the way. And before we knew it, we were successful beyond our imagination. So I'm taking this exact same mentality and I'm applying it to my photography. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you my personal goals. And I want you to do the same in the comment section and stick around for number five because it's, it's a challenge that I'm gonna to propose to you. I want you to see how much growth you can, you can get in such a short period of time. And it's done by, by trying out the challenge that I'm gonna to propose to you in, in number five. Number one, I want to get one of my photographs in a gallery. I would like to get one of my photographs in a gallery because I wanna see how it compares to professional photographers, people that don't do anything else besides photograph professionally. I wanna see if my work can even compete. And as far as getting into a gallery, I don't even know where to start. If any of you guys know where I can start, please uh, write, write a comment and uh, let me know. But regardless, I'm gonna dive deep into this subject and I know I'm gonna learn things along the way and I'm gonna share it with you guys uh, throughout videos of how, how my progress is going because I know this is a good thing to learn down the road, especially if I wanna turn this into a business or make some money off of it. Number two, I wanna improve the sharpness of my photography. Even though I've been honing in on my skills, I've noticed that some of my shots are blurry, especially in low light conditions, which is what I've been into recently. I've noticed that it takes me a handful of shots before I get the shot that I want. And although I know I'm getting away with this, it's a bad habit. So I'm gonna be dedicating some time watching YouTube videos, reaching out to people on Instagram, and I have, a, I have an idea already of what I need to do. I just need to go out there and practice it a lot more. What's something you've been putting off? Something that you know you need to do to improve your quality? Write it down in the comments. I'm curious to find out what that is. Number three, I want to get a professional print of one of my photographs. This kind of goes in line with my first goal, getting into a gallery because you have to have it done professionally. And just like my first goal, I don't really know where to start, but I know it's not gonna be super difficult. I just have to use my resources. See, lately, I've been getting asked a lot on my Instagram uh, if I sell prints. And I want, as soon as I hear that, I want to run to what to Walmart and just print off whatever I can and say, yes, here you go, and make a quick buck. But I know better. And even though I don't know much about prints, I do know that selection is important because you want somebody that's been in the business and that has an eye for quality to help you with your prints. Regardless of the cost, I'm gonna pay for it because it's gonna be worthwhile. It's almost like paying for a class, you know what I'm saying? It's, I mean, why do you pay so much to go to college? Because it's, it's, you wouldn't get this information otherwise. And yeah, that's debatable because there's YouTube. But I wanna know what somebody with an eye for quality thinks of my photography and how they can help me improve. And when I do go to sell something, I want people to know that they're getting the highest quality from me and from the people around me. And also this helps create uh, a network of people that are, you're gonna involve your, with yourself in the future, which is super important. Number four, I wanna make one YouTube video a week. I think this is absolutely crucial in my photography because it forces me to investigate things that I already thought I knew. And this, this way of communicating with people also gives me the ability to put my thoughts out in words because in here, I know what I wanna say and I know what I wanna do. But when somebody asks me a question and I can't put the sentences together, that's on me. Uh, this format gives me a way to practice that. And it, if anybody learns anything from this, even better. And when you can teach somebody what you know, 
that truly means that you have a strong understanding. Otherwise, you don't. And it shows when you go to teach someone else. My question to you guys is, have you ever thought about making a YouTube video or a YouTube channel? Please let me know. I'm curious to know because I've always wanted to make a YouTube channel. As a matter of fact, I used to have a YouTube channel when I was a, when I was a teenager on, on music. And it was fun and it was kind of popular at the time. Uh, but as I got older, I just quit doing it. So I want to know, why haven't you done a YouTube channel or YouTube video? And if you might do it in the future, I'm really curious to know, write it in the comment. And for my fifth goal, and this is one of the more challenging ones, believe it or not, post at least one quality photo a day on Instagram. This doesn't sound hard. And most of the time it's really not that hard. But see, I don't just post anything for the sake of posting and for the, for the sake of saying that I did it that day. Whenever I put my shot of the day on Instagram, I make sure that it's top notch, the best quality that I can that I can give to everybody. I think that's important. And where it gets difficult for me at least is I have to juggle at least a hundred things every damn day. And I don't always get a chance to go out with my camera and shoot photography. So I, I don't always have the opportunity to go out and photograph each day. So what I do to make up for that, I shoot in blocks or I'll go out for three days in a row if I have that luxury and I will shoot whatever I can the best that I can. I'll work on my angles. I'll work on my, my manual settings. I'll do all of that stuff. But see, the problem is that content doesn't last forever. And as much as I try to squeeze every last drop out of, out of those days of shooting, sometimes I start to run low. And with the time constraints that I have with my job and just the hustle and bustle of life, I, I have to figure out, okay, I have to go shoot uh, some photography this day. And it becomes a balancing act. And this has really been helping me with prioritizing my time. It's creating the structure and discipline that I know I need to be a really good photographer down the road. And it also helps me realize what is important to me. You know, like what's important to me? What, what, what am I willing to sacrifice for this art? And I think everyone should try this challenge for themselves. And it, you, you know what, and if you fail, so be it, it's okay. It's not meant to be, uh, it's not meant to destroy your, your confidence level. It's just, it's a way to build discipline. It's a way to build uh, your, your structure. And you need that because they're, they're gonna, there's gonna be days when you don't wanna go out and do anything and you're gonna miss opportunities because you were being lazy. And if you do decide to, to take on this challenge, keep me updated. Uh, you, can get to me on, uh, you can get to me on Instagram or you can reach out here on this YouTube channel. I, I'd like to see what, if anybody else is doing this. I'm sure there are a lot of people doing it, but I haven't come across anybody that's doing this. Look, setting goals, can sound cheesy, it can make a person almost sound delusional, right? That's what people have told me in the past. Why, why waste your time with goals? But I think that mentality only exists with people that haven't accomplished anything outside of existing. So my question to you is, are you okay with that? Thanks for watching. And like always, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really wanna hear what your thoughts are on this video. Now get out there and pursue your passions.